All right, Rich Schneider right here from the Night Report. I'm joined by Alex Simpson. You guys know him already if you're on the boards. Alec, what's going on? You know, just trying to live every day to the most of I, the most that I can in this quarantine. I'm out in Southern California, so just trying to make the most of every day. And, uh, you know, we, we, we're, getting, we're getting some commits to the door at Rutgers. So. Yeah, no, it's been pretty fun lately. So today's commit just, got, just happened recently, a couple hours ago. Minnesota defensive line transfer, Mayon, uh, how do you say, on the two, on the top? Aha, not two. Aha, no two. There you go. You got it better than me already. So uh, for those of you that don't know, he's a redshirt freshman. He's from Berkeley Prep uh, down in Tampa, Florida. Former three-star, 30-plus offers. I want to say, if I count it right, 16, 17 power five offers out of high school. Definitely. Very good defensive line commit. Alec, what can you tell me about him? So this is a kid that played in the interior and played on the edge in high school. He's just super explosive off the line of scrimmage. He's really able to attack the quarterback. And once he gets to the quarterback, he's super violent with his opposition. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's, able to, uh, he's able to engage with his opposition um, and be able to explode off his offensive line and use a really nice swim or rip move. And then once he gets to the quarterback, like I said, just super violent player. Um, and then once he sacks the quarterback, this kid is excited about playing the game of football. He, he has a really just enthusiastic way of playing the game. You know, once he makes plays, this is just a guy that really will come into Rutgers excited, ready for a new opportunity, and just ready to make the most of his new opportunity. Gotcha. So now what, what else can you tell me about this defensive line transfer? I know you kind of said he goes both inside and outside. Do you think he's more of an inside guy in the future or more of an outside guy? I know he's already 255, so. Right. I mean, I think his explosiveness in the interior would really benefit at Rutgers. So I, I think he would fit best in the inside. But mm -hmm. if they if they can see him, you know, being successful on the outside with his explosive, you know, get off of the line of scrimmage, that could really be useful at Rutgers as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to be up to Coach Benegos about where he sees him fitting best and Coach Rob Smith as well as he runs the D.C. over there. So we'll see what they have to say. But I think he has a skill set to play either or. Got solid length, got solid strength. This is a guy that has numerous attributes to be successful in the interior or on the, on the outside edge. Yeah, so you mentioned Coach Panagos and Coach Smith. Um, obviously, for those of you that don't know, Coach Smith recruited him to Minnesota in the first place as a member of the 2018 class. Coach Panagos coached him on the defensive line as a, uh, this past season, the 2019 season at Minnesota. Then you have um, Coach Shiano. You actually just told me about this recently. And what kind of relationship does he have with Shiano already? So I, I was doing some background research myself on this kid. Um, played at Berkeley Prep High School down in Tampa Bay. Um, Coach Shiano actually helped with the defensive line on his year off from coaching at Berkeley Prep, and he played with three of Shiano's sons. So talk about just the ties heading to Rutgers. This was just too good for it not to happen, and it just had to happen. And, you know, I'm really excited for this kid to get up to Rutgers, get in Piscataway, and make an impact. Mm -hmm. So now I know another thing you mentioned before was the new NCAA, or soon to be likely, likely to be, let's put it like that, the NCAA is likely to – make every recruit immediately eligible. How much of an impact can this guy make right away? I know there's a couple of other guys he'd probably be competing with in that middle of the interior of the defensive line. Right. So he'd be competing with Ireland Burke, which is a kid I was super fired up about um, in the interior. And then on the outside, he'd also be competing with Malik Barrow out of UCF and also Ohio State. That was another guy there. Two guys were both four high four-star or three-star recruits out of high school and just, you know, were ready to go and make immediate impacts at Rutgers. So – you're going to see these two guys come in and make it an, make just an immediate impact. But, you know, this is a guy that could potentially fight for those spots between those guys. I mean, Rutgers, you know, has six power five transfers coming in. So, I mean, Shiano's turning things around with these transfers and wants them to come in and play right away. Yeah, perfect, man. Uh, they definitely need some help on that defensive line after a couple struggles last year, lost their top sack leader. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one, man. But, uh, yeah, thanks for talking with us, Alec. I'm sure we'll see you soon. And uh, stay safe. You too, man. You too.